Hey, how's it going? Brian here from RVWithTito.com and we're all about DIY projects for your RV here. So if that's something that interests you, you want to learn how to do your own RV upgrades to save money and build your DIY skills, then consider subscribing here to this channel. Now in this project video, we're going to do a battery install for some new lithium batteries that I bought a little while back uh, for the RV to replace my existing AGM batteries. Uh, this is something I've been planning for a while, but I want to do something a little bit differently with this installation because the compartment that I currently have my batteries in is really tight and uh, the AGM batteries in there now really take up most of that space and you really don't have a lot of room to maneuver or even access a lot of the, the connections and the batteries because it's just so tight in there. So I thought with these new slightly smaller, uh, lighter weight lithium batteries that I could do a, an installation in the rear of the compartment kind of in a more vertical uh, layout for these four batteries and what that's going to hopefully accomplish is uh, free up a little bit more space in that compartment and make all the connections more accessible on the front here so I haven't really uh, come up with a a clear design yet for how I want this to work, but I, I'm envisioning some kind of a cage or a really good support system to keep these batteries from moving in this position. And uh, also make it look kind of cool in the process. This is something a little bit customized for my RV, but I'm hoping that uh, you know it gives you some ideas of something you can do on your own. So what I've done is I've taken some measurements and uh, picked up some aluminum uh, material here, some some pieces that I can use to uh, to build some sort of uh, cage for these batteries. So let's get to it and see what we can come up with.
yeah. Well, this is uh, looking pretty good so far. I like the way it uh, feels. It's really strong. Look at that. It's holding together. You know, this four batteries being able to lift it like that. Nothing's shifting or moving. Now, this uh, back piece is definitely the, uh, the strength behind this whole thing, keeping everything together. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out, though, is that even though I tried to, uh, to braise this joint, you know, just using the brazing rod and the flame, uh, it worked, but I wanted to make sure that it was going to hold. I didn't think that was going to hold long term, so I added a, an L brace here and screwed it in just to keep that nice and strong. But what do you think of these little, uh, these little knobs? I, I found these and I figured that would be a great addition using this uh, threaded rod and these pieces and just a regular uh, quarter 20 thread on this just to be able to cinch that down and kind of use these front pieces to just kind of squish it all together and that worked out really really well. Look at that. Yeah, so this should work well in that compartment. Now the next step is to uh, is to build some battery cables. Now I'm going to be wiring these in parallel so I need to make sure that the cables are all the, uh, the same length. So let's go ahead and uh, Cut some cable and uh, get these batteries connected up. Once I got all the batteries out and got a chance to look at it and uh, where everything is coming out, I decided to just kind of redo and reorganize all the cabling and and just clean it up so everything's going to be a lot more accessible when the new batteries get in here. Well, I finished up uh, recabling, reconfiguring this uh, this battery compartment here. I got rid of a few things that I just didn't need anymore, and relocated some of the cables that were coming in from various 
points here in the compartment and I'm going to fill it this whole back wall here so I needed all of that clear and I replaced uh, one of my bus bars with this double bus bar here now I got all the positive connections on this side and all the negative uh, DC connections on this side and it's got a nice little cover that I, I can just pop on here when I'm done and everything's kind of protected and here's my uh, shunt I just kind of relocated that and that can be my main cutoff switch here so I can just reach in and disconnect all my batteries all together. But the other thing I wanted to show you is that I also put this uh, this base down here and it's, it's a, a piece of wood under here that's kind of distribute the weight and you know clean up this space a little bit. But uh, I got this from an old treadmill we had, you know, the, the tread part that actually rolls under your feet. Uh, when I got rid of it, I took apart the whole treadmill but I thought I'd keep that because it might come in handy. And I was actually thinking of uh, this compartment as one of the uses for that stuff. So I cut a piece to fit and glued it down to this board. And it looks it looks nice. It's really durable. And uh, I think it's really appropriate for this space. But I'm pretty ready now to uh, start assembling the, uh, the battery cage here and get the batteries installed and wire up a couple more things. And uh, But I needed to get this done first. Well, this has officially turned into a nighttime project, so I'll see you tomorrow. So I added a couple of finishing touches to this uh, when I got the batteries installed. And the first is this uh, piece of acrylic across the front. Now I thought it'd be something nice to be able to see through and also protect the front of the batteries from dust or me touching something by accident. And I figured that, uh, you know, while I had that there, it'd be really cool to shine some blue LEDs through it. Uh, so I put an LED strip across the front and also behind this little panel here and it looks really, really cool, especially at night. Now to get it off is pretty easy. I have these quick release uh, clips here. I can just push them in and this whole thing pops out and then I can just pop it back in, snap it back in place and uh, it's really easy to take in and out. Now the other thing that I added is a, uh, is a temperature controlled uh, switch here because I, I went ahead and put some heating pads that I had laying around and installed those. I have two heating pads in the back of the battery that goes behind them and underneath and also two smaller ones in between each battery in the middle here so that uh, it'll keep the battery from getting cold because these are lithium batteries I need to keep them from getting below freezing so this uh, switch will um, trigger or it'll turn on the heating pads when it gets to a, a specific temperature and right now I have it set to about 38 degrees Fahrenheit and it's set to Celsius right now so that's why it says 9.9 .9 degrees Celsius but yeah that's worked really well I have tested it and um, it's gonna work out really well I can turn it on and off here too I have this other switch that uh, I can just turn it off during the summer or warmer months and by the way the blue LEDs only turn on when the uh, the door here is open so I have a switch mounted here that triggers so that turns on the lights when the door is open and then when it's closed it's off so it's right there triggered by the door so that works out really well and uh, overall I really like the way this uh, this turned out so if you have any questions drop them in the comments and I hope this gave you some ideas and uh, you know some inspiration for something you might be able to do especially if you have a small space like I do and you're trying to cram a bunch of batteries into it so hope you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next one take it easy